Hello students, in the last part of quadratic equations, I have completed 4e and today I am starting from 4f. Here first question is, without solving the following equation, comment upon the nature of its roots. Here first question is 2x square minus 3x plus 5 equals to 0. If I compare with ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0, then a will be 2, b will be minus 3 and c will be equals to 5. So we got a, b, c. Now we know discriminant is b square minus 4ac. b here is minus 3, so it will be minus 3 square minus 4 into 2 into 5 minus minus plus 3 square 9 minus 4, 5, 20. 20 into 2, it will be 40, which will give minus 31. Now, we got D less than 0. Since D less than 0, no real roots exist. No real roots exist. And that's the answer. Second and third part of question number 1 are of the same type. Let me show fourth part from question number 1. Here question is 5x square minus 12 root 3x plus 7 equals to 0. If you compare this equation with ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0, then here a will be equals to 5, b will be equals to minus 12 root over 3, and c equals to 7. Now we have to find the discriminant because we have to comment upon the nature of roots. So d equals to b square minus 4ac. Here b is minus 12 root over 3 whole square minus 4 into 5 into 7. Now, minus minus plus 12 square 144. Root 3 square, it will be 3. Minus 4, 5, 20. 20 into 7, it will be 140. Now, 144 into 3, it will be 432. Minus 140. If you subtract 140 from 432, it will be 292. Now, we got discriminant. 292 which is greater than 0 we can write d greater than 0 therefore roots are roots are real and distinct real and distinct in my previous video i told you about the rule that if d is less than 0 then no real roots if d is greater than 0 then roots are real and distinct and if d equals to 0 then roots are real and equal question number 5 here question is 3x plus 25 by 3x equals to 10. If you take the LCM, LCM will be 3x. So it will be 9x square. Because here it is 3x by 1. 3x divided by 1 is 3x. 3x into 3x, it will be 9x square. Plus 3x divided by 3x is 1. 1 into 25. It will be 25 equals to 10. Now if you cross multiply, it will be 9x square plus 25 equals to 3 into 10, it will be 30x. If I transfer this 30x in the other side, it will be 9x square minus 30x plus 25 equals to 0. Now, if you compare this equation with ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0, then a will be 9, b will be minus 30, and c will be 25. Now, we have to calculate discriminant so d is b square minus 4ac, b we know it is minus 30 square minus 4 into 9 into 25. Now minus minus plus 30 square is 900 and here 4 into 25 is 100, 100 into 9, 900. So we got 0. Since d equals to 0, therefore roots are real and equal, real and equal. So six part from question number one. The question is x minus twice a into x minus twice b equal to four a b. Here it is given x minus twice a into x minus twice b is four a b. So if we multiply x with x minus twice b and then minus twice a with x minus twice b, this will be four a b. So first we have multiplied x with x minus twice b, then minus twice a into x minus twice b equal to 4ab. Now x into x 
it will be x square minus 2ice bx plus minus minus 2ice ax minus minus plus 2 to the 4 ab equals to 4 ab so next then it will be x square minus it will be 2ice b plus 2ice ax plus 4 ab minus 4 ab equals to 0 clear this 4 ab we have transferred the other side plus 4 ab and minus 4 ab can be cancelled so we got x square minus 2 i's b plus 2 i's a into x equals to 0 the next step we can write it is x square minus 2 i's b plus 2 i's a x plus 0 equals to 0 now if i compare with a x square plus b x plus c equals to 0 then a will be equals to 1 b will be equals to minus 2 i's b plus 2 i's a and c will be equals to 0 now if we apply the discriminant formula which is b square minus 4ac then it will be b square b is this part so minus 2 i's b plus 2 i's a whole square so it is b square minus 4 into 1 into c c is 0 so this part will be 0 now it will be minus minus plus 2 i's b plus 2 i's a whole square and this part is 0 so we got d is 2 i's b plus 2 i's a whole square now since discriminant is a square number and square number cannot be negative so here d is greater than 0 roots are so roots are real and distinct real and distinct I think last part from question number one you can do it yourself let me show first part from question number two. First question is 2x square minus 16x plus 30 equals to 0 and here it is given find the discriminant of the following quadratic equation and hence find the nature of its roots. Here if you compare with ax square plus bx plus c then a equals to 2, b equals to minus 16 and c equals to 30. Now discriminant we know the formula it is b square minus 4ac b will be minus 16 square minus 4 into a into c now 16 square is 256 and this minus into minus plus so it will become plus minus 4 to the 8 3 to the 24 into 240 if i subtract it will be 16 since d is greater than 0 because 16 is greater than 0 that means d is greater than 0 so roots are real and distinct so roots are real and distinct i hope second part of question number two you can do it yourself let me show third part from question number two. In third part of question number two it is three by five x square minus two third of x plus one equals to zero so here a is three by five b equals to minus two by three and c equals to one so now discriminant it is b square minus 4 a c b is minus 2 by 3 so b square minus 4 into a into c here minus minus plus 2 square it will be 4 3 square is 9 minus 3 4 just 12 divided by 5 now 5 and 9 lcm will be 45 45 divided by 9 it will be 5 5 4 just 20 minus 45 divided by 5 is 9 9 into 12 it will be 108 if i subtract it will be minus 88 by 45 now since it is negative therefore d less than 0 and since d less than 0 so roots are not real roots are not real in question number 3 it is given which of the following equation has both roots equal here question is 9x square minus 12x plus 4 equals to 0 when both the roots are equal in that case discriminant will be 0 so we have to check whether d is 0 or not equation is 9x square minus 12x plus 4 equals to 0 so here a equals to 9 b equals to minus 12 and c equals to 4 so here discriminant is b square minus 4ac 
b is minus 12 so minus 12 square minus 4 into 9 into 4 now minus minus plus 12 square is 144 4 into 4 16 16 into 9 144 144 minus 144 it will be 0 since d equals to 0 therefore roots are real and equal roots are real and equal and that is the answer here second question is just like question number one so i hope you can do it yourself let me show third part here equation is 3x square minus 2 root over 6x plus 2 equals to 0 a equals to 3 b equals to minus 2 root over 6 and c equals to 2 we have to calculate the discriminant which is b square minus 4ac here b is minus 2 root 6 whole square minus 4 into a into c minus minus plus 2 to the 4 root 6 square will be 6 minus 3 for the 12 12 to the 24 now here 4 6 the 24 24 minus 24 it will be 0 since discriminant is 0 since d equals to 0 therefore roots are roots are real and equal In question number 4 it is given, find the value of k for which the following equation has real and equal roots. Here first equation is 3x square minus 5x plus 2k equals to 0 and we have to find the value of k for real and equal roots. Here a equals to 3, b equals to minus 5 and c equals to twice k. Now for real and equal roots we know d is 0 so we can write for real and equal roots discriminant d equals to 0 d is b square minus 4 ac equals to 0 b is minus 5 so minus 5 square minus 4 into 3 into twice k equals to 0 minus minus plus 5 square is 25 minus 3 for the 12 12 to the 24 k 24k equals to 0 therefore minus 24k equals to minus 25 now if we multiply both sides by minus it will become plus so 24k equals to 25 therefore k equals to 25 by 24 and which is the required value of k let me show second part of question number 4 here equation is 4x square plus kx plus 9 equals to 0 in this case a equals to 4 b equals to k and c equals to 9 since roots are real and equal so we can write d equals to 0 for real and equal roots real and equal roots now d we know it is b square minus 4ac equals to 0 b square means k square minus 4 into 4 into 9 equals to 0 so k square minus 4 for just 16 16 into 9 it will be 144 equals to 0 so we can write k square equals to 144 so k will be plus minus root over 144 and 144 is the square of 12 so it will be k equals to plus minus 12 which is the required value of k i hope third one and fourth one you can do it yourself let me show fifth part from question number four here question is 4x square minus 2k plus 1 into x plus k plus 4 equals to 0 here a equals to 4 b equals to minus 2k plus 1 and c equals to k plus 4 now for real and equal roots d equals to 0 so we can write for real and equal roots d equals to 0 and we know d is b square minus 4 ac equals to 0 now what is b b is minus twice k plus 1 whole square minus 4 into 4 into k plus 4 equals to 0 here 2 square is 4 so minus minus plus 2 to the 4 k plus 1 whole square 
माइनस फोर फोर जस सिक्सटीन के प्लस फोर इक्वल्स टू जिरो फ्रम हियर आई कैन टेक फोर कमन इफ आई टेक फोर कमन उर लेफ्ट उथ के प्लस वन होल स्कोर माइनस फोर इंटू के प्लस फोर इक्वल्स टू जिरो के प्लस वन होल स्कोर इट उल बी ए स्कोर प्लस टू आईस ए इंटू बी प्लस बी स्कोर माइनस फोर इंटू के फोर के माइनस इंटू प्लस माइनस फोर फोर जा सिक्सटीन इक्वल्स टू जिरो दिस फोर इफ आई ट्रांसफार इन द अदार सैड इट उल बिकम जिरो सो इन द नेक्स्ट लाइन इट उल बी के स्कोर माइनस फोर के प्लस टू के इट उल बी माइनस टू आई स्के माइनस सिक्सटीन प्लस वन इट उल बी माइनस फिफ्टीन इक्वल्स टू जिरो ना वी हैव टू डू मिडिल टर्म फैक्टराइजेशन देन इट उल बी के स्कोर इंस्टेड ऑफ माइनस टू के वी कैन रेट माइनस फाइव के प्लस थ्री के माइनस फिफ्टीन इक्वल्स टू जिरो ना फ्रम फार्स टू आई कैन टेक के कमन एंड इफ आई टेक के कमन इट उल बी के माइनस फाइव फ्रम लास्ट टू आई कैन टेक प्लस थ्री कमन इट उल बी के माइनस फाइव इक्वल्स टू जिरो हुईच गिवस के माइनस फाइव इंटू के प्लस थ्री इक्वल्स टू जिरो सो इधर के माइनस फाइव इक्वल्स टू जिरो और के प्लस थ्री इक्वल्स टू जिरो देर फोर के इक्वल्स टू फाइव एंड के इक्वल्स टू माइनस थ्री सो रिक्वायर्ड वैल्यूज ऑफ के इज फाइव और माइनस थ्री एंड देर इज द आंसर आई होप रिमेनिंग सम्स ऑफ नंबर फोर यू कैन डू इट योर सेल्फ एंड देर इज ऑल फॉर टू डे इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम नंबर फाइव ऑफ फोर एफ टिल देन बाई बाई टेक केयर एंड वेट फॉर द नेक्स्ट पार्ट 